Um, so guys, here to talk about your new show. Um, it's a fascinating concept. I was wondering, what was it that first drew you to the project? Was it the idea of it? Yeah, Not no, yeah, yeah, I think it was just the idea, that kind of what if grand uh, idea. And, and I think uh, anything dealing with history, I mean, this is alternate history, but um, just, uh, yeah, just that is the, the concept of it drew it to me, for me, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that and Philip K. Dick, definitely. Um, always amazed me how many books a man could write in a year, so I was blown away, but this is a book that, that's kind of been in my peripheral for a long time, so very exciting to see it in, in script form, and yeah, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. It's one of those, I mean, I was going to say it's a new trend of big TV shows, but I think this has been going on for a while now, especially in, in terms of the on-demand service. Um, are there any shows in that genre that you're particularly a fan of? In the, in the big genre? Like in, the, the, yeah, the, the big the, TV, the recent sort of on-demand. Um, I'm Bloodline. trying to think. Yeah, Bloodline, but Bloodline, the concept of Bloodline is, isn't, isn't this vast. I mean, it isn't, you know, the science fiction or anything like that. It's kind of real life. Um, I do love Bloodline. The Walking Dead is kind of a big, you know, uh, fantasy story. Other than that, um, Breaking Bad was, was, was a neat one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Transparent is a good one as well. Yeah. Uh, there's just so, there's too many damn shows, man. It's a, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Where does this one fit in there then, in terms of, I mean, it is huge. It, it just felt huge watching, I've, I've just seen the first episode. I don't know where it fits, to be honest. It's something I've never seen before. So yeah. it's kind of, it's its own thing. So, uh, and that's, that's why I like it. Excellent. Can I ask you a bit about um, both your characters? Or can I start with you, Alex? So, yeah. um, the character you play in the, in the show. Yeah, I play uh, Juliana Crane. She's um, she's sort of you know we find her in the beginning of the story, kind of uh, an ordinary woman, in, and suddenly in extraordinary circumstances, um, she uh, she doesn't buckle under adversity, which is one of the one of the traits I love about her. Um, she's full of mischief. She's mm -hmm. on a mission. <laughs> she's. Um, kind of unstoppable, very, very uh, focused and often to the detriment of everyone around her, but there is a, a greater good, so. I play uh, Joe Blake, he's, uh, he's a young man under Nazi, uh, the occupation of Nazi Germany in New York City, so he uh, is then sent on a mission for the resistance um, to deliver this so-called uh, film, and he meets people along the way, he meets this one, and yeah, you just go on the journey with him and kind of, um, the choices he makes, and it's you see you see the world through all these characters' eyes. So, and you see how the world changes them, and it's kind of nice to step back and and, and see that reality as a viewer. So, that's that's what my character is. It's quite chilling as a viewer, just the imagery that you that you get. Was it like that walking around on set, just seeing oh, yeah. you know all these amazing, quite scary sights? Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and especially for for me because my character is a Nazi in the in, in the series. Um, some of the things that I had to do and some of the things that I had to see uh, really kind of weighed on my soul. But yeah, it's very chilling. I get chills about it now. Mm -hmm. um, what, what can we expect? So I've, I've seen the first episode. How does the story progress from there? Oh my God, um, how much time do we have? It's, um, it's, a, it's a really, ma it's a roller coaster ride for sure. But uh, you know, of course, within the confines of the world, there's a, we're living under extreme oppression. And so there's this confined kind of low ceiling um, you know, if you will, uh, energy, but it's, it's, it's just full of twists and turns and full of surprising mm -hmm. elements and you'll find yourself rooting for people that you wouldn't ordinarily root for, which is slightly disconcerting. <laughs> um, it's a really exciting, exciting journey for sure. Uh, we spoke about how it felt being on set. What was it like um, working with the other guys as well? I mean, how did you go about keeping it as light as possible, I guess. What did you try and keep it light whilst working on something as serious as this? I think when we were in it, you know, it, it, it was very it. serious and we're, we were in it. But uh, when the camera stops rolling, I mean, we were all cracking jokes. I mean, you, you need that sense of levity because if you don't have it, then all of us would just, you know, cave and go inside ourselves and we would just, you know, we would be unhappy people. So, uh, yeah, Offset. I think Offset was when we found uh, the camaraderie and, and mm. uh, we had a lot of fun. Was it easy to leave that behind when, when you did leave set, or did it still prey on your mind? It was a, uh, no, it stays. It, it stays, does. absolutely. We were completely embedded. Um, and, you know, the process of, of, of working was incredibly collaborative and incredibly inspiring that way. So we were constantly working together and, um, you know, brainstorming and discussing. And uh, so it was, it was very much present, you know, on and off camera. I should have sure. taken up yoga and did a bunch of <laughs> yoga after set every day. 
next, next time, if we next have time. One, yeah. I'm going to take it up. Um, in terms of how it compares to uh, <clears throat> movies that you may have done or TV shows, um, how does it compare? It, it, like I said, it does feel a lot bigger, but um, have you noticed a change over time in how TV is treated by... Absolutely. By Absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah, there's a massive difference between doing network television and doing something like this. I think, oh, yeah. uh, you know, Amazon has the liberty to be incredibly risky with its material and its content and, and the way that it's, you know, we go about the process of actually making the show. Um, it's, it was certainly one of the most liberating experiences creatively that I've, I've ever had. And that's, you know, that is a, a great deal to do with Amazon and being able to kind of explore on a level that you don't normally have the freedom to, you know. Yeah, it was, it was rare because, you know, many times as an actor, you do a season one of a series, you know, you, you're kind of told what to do. And we were able to collaborate with these people and they just accepted it and they, 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 they loved it, you know. And um, I think it's because Amazon is, they're fairly new uh, into the game. So they want to make the best things and they, they're just on your side. They encourage it. So um, the experience was I mean, I couldn't ask for a better experience. Honestly, to, to, to say this, I, it was the best experience I've ever had working as an actor. Mm -hmm. um, the story feels timeless in, in a way. And what is it about the writing of Philip K. Dick that has that kind of quality to it? I think he just, he had such an incredible mind and such a sort of, there were, there were no boundaries in the way that he imagined the world and, and he was incredibly ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which is why I think a lot of his, a lot of his material has been made into film. It's a very cinematic scope he's got a really grand scale um and uh he, it's just endless the, you know your imagination takes you to a million places and and uh and his work is incredibly inspiring that way do you think it's yeah. a bit more difficult now to have that kind of creativity in terms of the, the uh, media that you produce i mean you know i i don't know i mean it's hard because we've had such a such an incredible experience with this and it's felt so liberating um I don't know, we're very lucky, I think, with this one. I don't feel that yet. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. And finally, I just wanted to ask you, what, what do you think audiences can expect from, from a show like this? Oh, man. It'll take you, take you places. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I think I, I would hope that they, uh, they accept it, you know, because it is so high concept. And, um, and we're talking about things that, you know, it might, it might piss some people off and it, it might be hard to accept, but I hope they just let themselves go and just kind of, separate themselves and and uh, and realize that this this could have been a, a possibility I mean it, re it really much could have been so yeah I hope that they enjoy it yes, I yeah. certainly did thank you yeah. thank, thank you very you. much thank you. thank you for your time thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, yeah. is that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey